Michael, is there sort of trends that publishers should be aware of in Hollywood, do you think, at the moment, or is the whole point to be fresh? Oh, I don't think fresh and Hollywood go together, <laughs> <laughs> generally. <laughs> um, no, I think, uh, look, it, it, the world of adaptation is still at Hollywood's focus. I, I, original ideas in the... In, the film world uh, aren't really sought after that much. It's it's not so much about an original idea. It's who's packaged the original idea and who's in it and who's directing and all that. It's unfortunately so. There's going to be more um, movies with capes and tights in them, probably as a result. Uh, so there's a lot of that still. I think the, the big trend at the moment in Hollywood is away from film, though, and into TV. I, just generally, all studios are producing less films. And so there's executives and producers in Hollywood with less to do. I literally was talking to a development exec who was working at Fox, and he left his very nice job to go into TV because he said basically he just there was nothing for him to do like his company used to three years ago would produce 12 films a year and they've just scaled it back to three so that's a wow. massive cutback and that's an example of what's really happening so there's this big shift towards TV and so I, I think series of books is very attractive to American TV market I feel as though, sorry, were you going to say no, there's, you know, libraries. Like if you've got a library with a fan base, and that's very, very attractive to Hollywood. I feel as though I keep reading that there's a consciousness about sort of older women being served by cinema, you know, like, is, do you feel that, that there's opportunity for that kind of um, film that suits that segment of the market? Absolutely, that's really that's all that's left. So you have the teen market and then you have people who, you know, still just love film. And yeah, it tends to be older females. Mm. That's the demographic.